Imagine a real estate company that actually helps support your career and nurtures your passion for real estate by remaining real estate first and not taking all of your money in the process. Let's talk about OPT real estate. And this video is going to be a no BS approach into what LPT Realty is about, the actual things that matter and not all of the extra fluff and all of the things that, that are part of the brokerage but might not be that important to most people. So let's go ahead and break it down and I'm going to start with the company culture and vision. I think everything follows underneath that company culture, that vision, the values, because it's a trickle down effect. If the leader doesn't believe in having a, let's say in this case, a real estate first background or a real estate first vision, then everything else is going to follow in the same suit. We are here to sell real estate. A lot of other companies are there to recruit or they have a big portion of that. And although LPT Realty has a version of that, that is not what we are centered on here. And we'll be talking about that throughout this entire video. In fact, stick around all the way to the end. I'm gonna kind of break down some of the costs and stuff. You do not wanna miss it, it's very important. But if I put it too early in the video, it wouldn't make sense. So let's talk about company values. Company culture and values is so important. And the reason why it's number one is because I think everything else falls underneath that everything. So what do we believe in? We believe in real estate first. That's a really big thing here at LPT Realty. We do want to make sure that our agents are actually selling and not out there just recruiting or just kind of hanging their license just to hang their license here. I personally believe that company culture and values are extremely important because everything is going to run through that filter. If you have a bad culture, you have bad values and a bad vision, it doesn't matter what you put in place. It is not going to be successful. So first and foremost, that's what I want to hit. One of the things I want to touch on here is the supportive environment we have. Although this is a cloud-based brokerage, which means there are not physical offices unless it's a team or there's a couple of very rare instances, but for the most part, it's teams. It's all cloud-based. So what are you going to miss? What a lot of people are going to miss not having that you know, brick and mortar to go into and having an office manager or a broker to go in there and talk to directly is kind of a little bit of that camaraderie, right? Well, we have that here, but it's just all done virtually and it is done on a really big level. So your support structure is extremely vast, whether it's directly from the company through, you know, the company support systems that they have or to your organization that you fall under. There is always somebody to run something by and it's always extremely quick. That is one of the really important things for me. I am a real estate team leader, so it's not just me I have to worry about. I do have to worry about my agents, I have to worry about my admin as well. So having a good support system and a good support structure there is so important to me. And what's really cool is the organizations that we have built out are completely open. For instance, at the last brokerage I was at, you were kind of stuck in the organization in which you were brought onto. So if you wanted to learn from these folks over here, you couldn't really do it. And that is something that we don't believe in here at LPT Realty. In fact, it is so ridiculously easy to just go into some of the other groups and learn what they are learning. So you're not going to get stuck in this little vision where somebody's just going to be telling you, just recruit, just recruit, just recruit. No, it's real estate centric stuff first. There is some recruiting stuff in there if you would like to go to that. But then you can go to the other teams, the other organizations. You can be a part of them because we're open. In fact, we're not just open inside of LPT Realty for some of these organizations. We're open to everybody. The entire culture here about learning and getting better and staying in the industry during this troubling time. I'm sure a lot of you guys that are watching, if you're watching this any, any time around when I'm shooting it, it's kind of a tough time. Transactions are slow and we still have a ridiculous amount of agents in the industry fighting for those transactions. Well, luckily here at LPT Realty, we're getting information from everybody. So anybody that you want to learn from, there's a specialist for and they're teaching stuff and they're very lenient with their time and spreading the awareness and spreading their knowledge out, which I really, really enjoy. And not only on top of the organizations and the company itself, the teamwork amongst other LPT Realty agents is extremely strong. So whether I'm doing a deal with an LPT agent on the other side, or there's just some in my marketplace and they're looking for open houses or just any other opportunity, we're very open with that. And I hope it stays that way. Of course, as an organization grows, you don't know what you're going to lose there. There's always going to be a little bit lost, but I'm hoping that this aspect stays forever. And then it would be silly for me not to mention our founder, Robert Palmer, who at first, you know, I didn't really understand his story, but I was just at an event where I got to hear him speak and hear his story. 
And he he literally did it. He did exactly what you were supposed to do in the real estate game. And he found something that worked and he just hit it hard and harder and harder. And his business just exploded to the point where he had, I believe, 10% market share in the areas that he was servicing. 10% is freaking unheard of. So he knows what he's doing and he's brought all of that knowledge and all of that expertise right here into LPT Realty to help all of us grow together. And I'm not going to lie, when I first heard some of his story, I was kind of like, well, I don't believe in some of that stuff. So a lot of his business was done by print marketing and radio and billboards and TV and things like that. And, you know, here in the real estate world, it doesn't really make sense to do most of those things most of the time. There are some examples i know i'm going to get comments down below that's like i have a billboard and it's the greatest thing ever i'm saying overall it is generally a bad idea to put your money there because there's better sources to put your money at to grow your business a little bit faster however he figured it out he did it at scale and it worked out very well for him on top of that i've had many personal one-on-one -on -one conversations with robert and i understand his vision now and once i saw it once i saw it in his eyes and i, I see exactly what he's trying to do i was hooked so his belief in having a real estate first mindset is so ingrained that it's ridiculous in an awesome way because as a team leader and as somebody that this is how I get my business, this is how I support my family, this is how I pay my bills, buy my investments and things like that. It's all done through real estate. It's not done through the recruiting. You know, when you look at the numbers of how many people actually build off of their recruiting, it's, it's fairly low. But let's go ahead and move on from that subject. Point of this is Robert Palmer, an outstanding leader. I think he sees a lot of things ahead of time and he pushes it to us, which helps us get an edge on the competition. Oh, and I know I said I was gonna move on, but he actually replies to things and talks to us and has full-blown conversations. In fact, he was just in a real estate agent Facebook group. It wasn't even ours, it was just normal real estate. And somebody had mentioned something. He was like, boom, here's the pros and the cons of LPT Realty. And he was blunt. He was like, hey, this doesn't work for you if. It does work for you if. Obviously, not every brokerage is meant for every single person, but I think it's really cool that we have a leader that's actually engaged and inside with the agents in the trenches helping us grow our businesses. All right, training and development is so vital in a brokerage. In fact, it, it kind of started going that direction 20, 30, 40 years ago where that was one of the main things that a brokerage was providing and LPT does not disappoint in this realm. On top of all of the organizations I was just talking about where you can join any of the other organizations, Facebook groups or just inner circles in general and learning from them, these high producing people that are putting training out there that are doing this for free and just overall trying to help the community, they also have a very robust training system inside of the LPT platform itself so that you get a great experience from onboarding all the way until you are a rock and roll agent just cranking out deals. So depending on what you need, there are several different things for you. There are videos going on every single week inside of the organizations as well as with LPT Realty itself. Robert Palmer himself gets on almost every single week for a Motivational Monday where they'll kind of go over some stuff as well. Sometimes it's motivational, sometimes it's just stuff about the industry, sometimes it's lead sources and things like that, but the point is they're involved. And then a lot of other people are putting their knowledge and expertise right into the LPT platform for everybody to use. And don't worry, if you're a new agent or maybe you haven't gotten the sales that you really wanted and you just kind of want to, you know, beef everything up, they have an agent power-up program that includes mentorship, you know, one-on-one -on -one mentorship, one-on-one -on -one coaching with experienced individuals so that you can get to the next level very quickly. Now, this is not mandatory for new agents as of the time of shooting this. I don't know if they're going to make that mandatory later, but it is available to you if you'd like it. Up to three transactions, you do pay a little bit extra uh, into the brokerage to do this because you are getting that direct mentorship and they're walking you through everything that you need to know in order to become a very successful agent. And I have heard extremely good things about this. I didn't go through it. And of course, my agents don't go through it because they're going through my training, which is very similar. We do kind of partner it a little bit with some of their training because some of their training is pretty good. But the people that I do know that are on the program are getting their careers up and started very quickly. It took me about nine months to get my first deal back in 2014 when the market was considerably slower. In fact, it kind of feels like it does right now. And, you know, I only sold 11 that year. So for a couple of months, I sold pretty good. But my point is, had I had something like this, I think my career would have gotten started off even better. And that's not to say I wasn't being trained because at the time I was at Keller Williams. And for anybody that's been at Keller Williams or know of their systems, they actually have pretty good training. 
but I took it all. I took the bold and I took the, you know, other proprietary classes that they had. And I, I went to every class I could if they were bringing somebody in because my, my profit or my market center over here was very good about flying people in, mega producers from other areas, mega coaches and things like that. And it just didn't click. But looking at the platform they have now for agent power up, these agents are getting off to a rocking start way faster than I ever did. The next thing I want to talk about is technology and marketing tools that we have. And there's a bunch of them. But what I really like about this is there's not so many of them that you're like, I don't even know what to do with this stuff. They're giving you the hard hitting stuff that's going to move your business for everybody, okay? And then from there, you add on whatever else you need or inside of those platforms, there are additions that you can add on as well. This way, you're not getting tools for something that you don't need in your business. You're getting the stuff that you need and that's it. And that's helping keep costs down, which puts more money back in your pocket so that you can use that money to go ahead and put it into whatever you need to next. So let's talk about that technology. First, I'm going to start with LPT Connect. It's kind of the overall hub and the dashboard where all of these tools are going to be, plus the knowledge base and your rewards, like when we're talking about stock and your revenue share. I'll talk about that here in just a second. It's one big dashboard for everything that you need that is related to LPT Realty. Inside of that, one of the things that they give us is Chime as our CRM. For anybody that doesn't know, Chime is a very robust CRM system. I know all brokerages give a CRM or just about all of them give a good CRM. This one in particular is very, very good and it's given to you at no cost. And I'll talk about the costs and commission structures here in just a second. So, you know, just hold out for me. <laughs> so inside of Chime, it's got your basic customer resource management stuff. You know, you put your people in there, you put them on follow-up plans or what they call smart plans and you get a website and you can build that out for search engine optimization and, you know, all of that basic stuff. And then they also have an entire marketing tab where you can do things like buy leads directly or start a farm. You ever wanted to start a farm, but you're like, oh, I don't know where to, what do I do? Do I go to every door direct mail? How do I figure out what the ratios are? How do I target certain people? They've got that built into Chime. So if you are curious about that, do a quick Google search, check out Chime. It's got a bunch of stuff. You can buy Google pay-per-click. You can run your social media through it and like actually paid to have somebody else run your social media right through there. There's a bunch of other tools in there. We're not using uh, very many of them on our team personally, but that's because I've got most of my systems already set up. For most agents, this is going to be enough to run their entire business off of. Next up is the listing power tools. It's a proprietary system. It used to be open to where anybody could buy these. And there's kind of a lot that goes into this. So with every single listing, you are going to get a listing power toolbox for free. You do have to pay shipping. I think it's like 20 bucks or something. And it's 180 to 200 pieces of marketing. Might be more than that now. I know they were kind of talking about adding some stuff. It's got big flyers, little flyers, business cards, a customized text writer to put on your sign that says, hey, text here. And what's really cool about this is it's all customized to the property that you are nice. selling, which is very interesting because it's got actual pictures. You go into the listing power tool system, you upload three or four pictures, it puts them all across all of this stuff. There's door hangers, there's postcards, there's thank you notes. There's just a ridiculous amount of stuff for you to go out into the local community and pass out or into the neighborhood or you know if you're doing an open house, you write a nice little thank you card right there. It's all tailored to this house. So this does many different things for you. So with these listing power toolboxes, I was pretty skeptical about them at first because I'm not really a print marketing individual. But now that we've been kind of utilizing them and getting business from it, it does three things that I really like. One, it gets you out in the community talking about your listings, which forces conversation. It might be out of your comfort zone, but it is happening and that's a good deal. Two, it shows your seller of your home that you're putting in work for their home, specifically for their home, not just blanket marketing. And third, if there's any other sellers in the market, let's say you door knocked the neighborhood, you did the, the open house flyers, you sent out some postcards, any of that, when they see that this just hit the market and you've got these tools already, they're going, holy cow, this guy's on top of it, or a girl. You know, they're on top of it. They're, they've got these customized marketing pieces. This is really, really good. So you've got a higher chance of getting more sellers that way. And the cool thing about this is this box shows up at your doorstep within 48 hours of saying, send it to me. And they're completely customizable. So if you didn't want to do just listed and you wanted to tailor it to open houses, you can do that very easily. And inside of the Listing Power Tools app or website, what have you, there are a bunch of other options for like a prospecting pack, a mailing pack, digital ads, a bunch of other things that you can do there that are direct from LPT instead of through your CRM. And for your transaction management stuff, they do give you Dotloop. I'm not going to go into that too much further because it's just a transaction management software. We really don't need to hit that too much. Most agents don't care. 
And one of the other cool tools they give us is called DESI. And this is a proprietary system that Robert Palmer helped create. Uh, he does have a coding background, so he's actually coded a lot of this himself. And this brings out a lot of social graphics and you know, business cards are done through here, your, your signs, your open house signs, um, really anything else that you need so that way it all looks the same. It's all uniform and you've got tons of different choices and it moves the picture around so that you look nice and awesome inside of all of your marketing material. And it gives you tons of different options so that you can pick the look that you like. Different color options, different designs in general. And for those of you looking to get on a billboard, we do offer that here at LPT Realty. So inside of Desi, you would put, hey, this is what I want my billboards to look like and give it a few choices. And then whenever you do a couple of transactions with us, then they throw your name up on a billboard and of course your face. Now this is mainly for a recruiting tool just to say, hey, look who came over to LPT sort of thing. So I don't expect you to get a ton of business from this, but it might happen, especially if it's in an area where you've got a lot of your past clients. It's just another little touch that every single time they drive by, they go, that's my realtor, which is pretty cool. And of course, all of this technology that I mentioned is completely mobile friendly. Now, before we go into the commission structure and the other few things that I wanted to talk about, my name is Andrew, or of course you can call me Mongo. All of my information is gonna come up on the screen. So if you wanna find out why my entire team moved over here to LPT Realty with a resounding yes from every one of my team members, Go ahead and reach out to me. I'll get you on the schedule. We'll have a conversation and see if it's right for you. This isn't going to be a big sales pitch. I'm not really a sales pitchy kind of person. I'm just going to give you the information and you can make a decision from there. So let's get into commission. Now, when we talk about commissions, we also need to talk about fees and things like that. So let's get started with those. First off, there is no sign up fee, none. You're going to get your business cards. You're going to get all this great stuff. I don't even know what, what all they're giving you guys right now when you just first start joining because it does change and they've been adding stuff to it but it's no sign of fees and they're getting you an entire package to get started. There's also no monthly fee. So those hefty monthly fees that these other brokerages are relying on to survive, we don't have them here and we don't plan on putting them in here, which is pretty awesome. Now let's talk about some of the fees that are gonna cost you money. First and foremost, your very first deal that you do with LPT Realty, they're going to charge you 500 extra dollars on top of whatever split you choose, which is super cool, just wait for that. So $500 for your E and O insurance, your errors and omission insurance, it is required to have that here, uh, at least in my state. I think it's everywhere in the country. I think it's kind of like a brokerage thing just to make sure that you don't make any mistakes. And if you do, that you're kind of covered. There's also a $195 transaction fee that is charged to our clients, unless of course you deal with a lot of VA because we are not allowed to charge that with VA borrowers. Now let's talk about the commission structures itself. This is like the coolest part about the whole thing in my opinion. You actually have pathways. So you remember earlier when I was saying a brokerage for life model, that's exactly what they did is they built two pathways so that if your life circumstance changes, you can go back and forth. So the first one is the business builder. This is generally where I tell people to start when they first join LPT, especially if you don't ever plan on building a downline, like you don't want to do any recruiting at all. This is a really good pathway to go. You're going to pay $500 per transaction until you've paid in $5,000 total and then you're capped. You don't have to pay any more. Now under the business builder plan, you're still going to get stock. So don't worry, you are going to build up that stock, which I'll talk about here in just a second. But the big advantage is you cap really early and put most of that money back into your pocket so that you're not giving it to a brokerage for services that you're probably not even using. This also keeps it low in case you're the kind of individual that only does a couple of transactions, you're doing this part time or anything like that. This keeps your fees low with all of these services. You're getting what, like $11,000 in marketing services every single year and you're really not paying for much of it at all. Now let's go on into the rev share partner. This one is an 80-20 split, so you are going to pay 20% into the company until you are capped out at $15,000. At $15,000, you don't pay a commission split anymore, at least for the remainder of your year. Now, you are going to gain some bonus stock. You are going to have a, a little multiplier on there. That may go away. I'm not 100% sure, but, you know, it is still growing pretty quickly, so I'm sure there'll be changes down the road. But right now, there is a multiplier on there so that you get a little extra stock whenever you are on this plan. And, of course, this is the plan that you can actually build a revenue share downline and earn from it, most importantly. How LPT works is they take half of whatever the agents make and they, they do that to the brokerage, at least from those fees, you know, that 15,000 or 5,000, depending on which pathway you go, they keep 50% of it and the other 50% is spread down between seven levels. 
And here, you're not going to have to go 30 or 40 wide or anything like that in order to unlock all seven levels. I believe at the time of shooting this, we are at 15. I don't know if they're going to be able to maintain that. Five years down the road, maybe they have to go to 20. I don't know what that's going to look like. But right now, you only have to go 15 wide in order to access all seven layers. If you don't understand that, I'll throw up all of my information on screen again real quick, and you can go and give me a call and I can kind of explain it a little bit better. Now, for those of you guys curious about stock, Maybe you already Googled it. What's LPT stock right now? It's not even on the market yet, which I actually think is one of the best things about it. So you do have to get vested first and foremost. You have to wait three years for it to vest before you can actually, before it's really yours, right? I mean, it's still technically yours. You just can't really do anything with it until that three year mark. And because it's not an open IPO right now, it's not actually a stock ticker right now that you can search. I think that's really beneficial for anybody that joins because you've seen what some of the stock did for some of these other companies. At my last company at eXp, it ended up being a pretty sizable chunk of money from the stock that I was doing just from doing my job. The same is going to happen here, except we're getting in on the ground floor, depending on when you're watching this. So you're gonna gain stock every single time you bring somebody onto the company and they sign up under you. You're also gonna gain stock on your first, your third, your 15th, and your 35th transaction. And they get higher and higher as you go down. And at 35 core transactions here in this company, it's a pretty big chunk of stock. Now you're asking, Mongo, what happens if I join the rev share plan because I thought people were gonna follow me and then nobody did. Well, just switch over into the business builder. In your first year, you can switch at any point. You don't have to wait. So if you feel like you made a mistake, you just switch to the other one, okay? Then after that, you can switch one time per year on your anniversary date, I believe is how it works. I haven't had anybody switch yet, but I believe that's how it works where you can do it once per year. So let's say that you did the business builder and then you brought on a team and they're just cranking out deals and you start running the numbers and you're like, wow, I can make a pretty good chunk of change. You can just swap over into the RevShare partner and begin collecting on that. All right, lead generation is next because it's real estate first. We need leads, right? Sometimes we don't have enough to fulfill our own pipeline and we just need a little bit of buffer to mix it in in between. And other times we just want to run our whole business off, you know, company generated leads. You have both of those options here. I don't know how lucrative it will be to try to run your entire business off of these, but it might be possible. They did give a fairly strong amount of lead flow for the few weeks that I was on their lead generation systems. So they've got this through a couple of different ways. They've got homevalues.com, which they are trying to direct into, think kind of like the Zillow, but for home sellers versus Zillow and realtor.com or more for home buyers. And speaking of Zillow, they buy a ridiculous amount of Zillow leads. I don't remember how many millions of dollars per month Robert Palmer is currently spending on this to infuse into the company, but he is putting a pretty big penny and he understands that he's going to lose money on that. Uh, I talked to him briefly about this at one point, but it's to help the company further itself along. And he figures if he's got producing agents that have experience behind them, then more people are going to use them and this is going to be overall pretty good for the company. Now, you are going to have to do a certain amount of transactions before these leads will be opened up to you, but you can absolutely open these up. Oh, and by the way, I think the transaction count is three. It's, it's nothing too cosmic. And then once you open them up, there are some guidelines you need to follow with like reporting. They just want to make sure that these people are getting phone calls and they're actually getting service. And then from there, you've got this extra lead flow. Now, we were only on it for a couple of weeks because we do have heavy lead flow on my team already. It just kind of wasn't working for us personally with the way that we have everything structured. And I just wanted to kind of focus on the team stuff instead of focusing on answering these phone calls. But in the two weeks that we were on it, I believe we received 12 leads and I think we closed two or three of them. They weren't all in those two weeks, obviously, like it was... We had to nurture some of them for a couple of months, but it is pretty good. So if you are looking for some lead flow that way, we do have it. And of course, they believe in my listing, my leads, which is an art that I think just fell off. So when I first started, that's how it went, at least at over at Keller Williams. They used to have a deal with Zillow and a couple of other companies, I think, where if somebody called off one of your listings, instead of it going to an agent that is paying, it would go to the listing agent. And I think that's how it should be done. And I really like that Robert Palmer believes that as well, and he's put that into this company. So even if they pay for a lead, if it came off of your listing, it goes straight to you. Nobody else, nobody else is getting that phone call, nobody else is getting that information. And this does a couple of things. First, it increases the chance that you're going to close the lead because, well, it's beneficial to your seller. And second, who better to pick up that phone than the listing agent? 
you have all the information for that property. So I think that's a good thing for the business. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is support and resources. As real estate professionals, we need strong support and we need really good resources. And we've already kind of talked about some of the resources they give here, but there's still an extra bit amount of support that they give above and beyond everything I've already talked about. So first off, if you have an issue with something or you're trying to get something done, they have an entire ticket system inside of LPT Connect that you can go on there, put in your inquiry, and you'll get a response generally within about an hour. In fact, there have been some times that I've gotten a response within five to 10 minutes, which is great as a team leader, especially coming from EXP before, not like I'm bashing EXP, I love EXP. I just think this one's a little bit better, that's why we switched, but it would take me forever to get a hold of somebody at EXP, or I'd have to play around in that like video game world thing that they have, and trying to figure out how to do that, and everything's glitchy, and every time I logged in, it, it needed some big update just a big pain in the butt. Here we've got a nice ticket system, or of course you can email or phone call the individual that you need for whatever it is that you need. And if you do real estate long enough, or for some of you guys that have been doing it a while, at some point you've probably had a commission dispute. My second deal here at LPT Realty, we had a commission dispute. Another agent felt that I didn't deserve the money that was in the multiple listing service that was promised to me, and that their seller deserved it because she miscalculated the funds. Oh, no. It wasn't an LPT agent, by the way. She miscalculated the funds and was like, well, I don't want to get in trouble with my seller, so I'm going to take it from this agent. And of course, I got our brokers involved, and they jumped all over it. I say bro brokers plural because multiple people jumped on this individual and basically convinced her to do the right ethical thing that she had promised a certain amount and within a matter of about two or three days it was completely rectified and there was a check in my hand for the difference between what was promised and what was actually given and of course you're gonna have transaction management compliance help so as you're putting stuff into the system if you're missing something or they need to add something in there or you know any number of different reasons they do have people that are watching that just like most brokerages so that you're not just like left out there on your own not knowing what the heck to do and then of course the support inside of the actual organizations is very helpful i have reached out to a lot of people above me in the business or below me or at the same level it doesn't really matter my point is i've reached out to a lot of people and received an incredible amount of help and i think that is absolutely incredible because if we're all growing together we're all learning together we're all going to push through this little market together and speaking of the market and market conditions, this is one of the big things that I wanted to hammer home. And it, it didn't really make sense if I put it earlier in the video, so excuse me for making you wait till all the way at the end. But the amount of money that is saved here is so absolutely vital to your business, especially right now. I want to give a couple of examples of things that have actually happened to me. So this is kind of a, a personal success story or personal anecdote, if you will. Another previous brokerage that I was at before eXp, they used to take 20% of all of our commissions. For my team, that equated to $178,000. I want to, I just, I just want to, I just want to plug that into your brain. $178,000. They were offering two oh things. Well, they were offering a ton. Don't get me wrong. No. If it was for a newer agent or somebody that used all of their services, it was probably worth that twenty, you know, that twenty percent or whatever the percentage is. But for us, we weren't using it because we were an established team when we went over there. So we were using two things. We were using their training a little bit. Did that die on me? Well, I guess the light in the background died, so I apologize <laughs> about that. So we were using their training, it was an eight week course, and we were using it as supplemental training for our brand new agents whenever we would onboard one. And second is they had a sign guy. Well, a sign guide costs about a hundred bucks to put up and take down a sign, including throwing a lockbox on. So let's say you only have 50 listings, you can kind of do the math there. It is definitely not worth $178,000. So they were definitely getting the good end of the stick there, and I've got no ill you know, thoughts toward any of them absolutely phenomenal company just wasn't great for us and this is kind of what i was going at with earlier of you need to be at a place that's right for you so now let's assume that you're at a cloud brokerage and you're paying in let's say sixteen thousand random number what actually happens is once you look at all the fees and everything in my last brokerage at exp i paid in about twenty two thousand three hundred dollars when you actually added everything in because they have some transaction fees and stuff that kind of go down but they never fully go away which is super beneficial because here at lpt realty we don't really have all of that we do have that $195 transaction fee that we charge to clients that you might elect to pay for yourself, but it would still be cheaper than the, I think it's $250 at EXP. 
here's the point. It was $22,300 or $22,800, something like that. And here, if you were on the business builder plan, it would only be $5,500. So you got the $5,000 if you cap out, and then that $500 for E&O insurance. So here's the point I want to make. That's a $16,800 difference every single year. That number alone should already kind of shock you and be like, wow, sixteen grand." For some of you guys, you're looking at that going, well, that's nothing. That's two transactions. I'm not worried about it. But that equates to $1,400 a month. What would $1,400 a month do for your business or your family? or your vacation fund, your next car fund. If you were to take that same $1,400, and let's say you were gonna buy pay-per-click or Facebook ads or realtor.com, zillow.com, just any lead source, and you were able to turn that into, let's use a super conservative number, you're able to turn that into $5,000 every single month, then the difference between these two brokerages isn't $16,800, it's 60,000 plus 16, so 78,000 some odd dollars. That's insane, and that's a really, 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 really conservative number. The moment that you start thinking like a business owner and you start seeing these little things, it makes a really big difference. $1,400, you could put it in your pocket and you can go buy a new car and, and you could increase your lifestyle in that way. Or if you wanted to run it back into your business and basically bet on yourself, well, that $1,400 is a lot of money, especially for a solo agent. We're always looking for lenders and title companies to support our marketing efforts and things like that. but we could just join a brokerage where we're going to get all of that money back and we're going to have that increase that we could then dump into our business or of course just pay bills with it because as the market gets harder and harder we're going to we're going to see more people needing to grab market share from other people so we're going to need to spend a little bit to do that or put a little bit of sweat equity into it versus check equity or you're going to need that money to pad your books or to you know be able to pay your bills especially if sales are slow in your marketplace so that's all i'm going to do on my little high horse there those are the main reasons i think that you should join lpt realty and if you have any questions whatsoever again all of my information is going to pop up on the screen you can call you can text me you can email me you can send me a private message on any of the social platforms I'm on TikTok and YouTube Shorts and YouTube and Instagram, Facebook, all of that stuff. You can find me using a variation of Mr. Mongo tags. We'll put that all on the screen. You're probably seeing it right now. So reach out, book an appointment with me. I'd love to be able to help you with your career. And uh, hopefully, you know, you can thrive instead of just survive in this marketplace. See you guys next week.